the latest development from Google that it describes as a state-of-the-art quantum computer chip. What if the last secret humanity ever held has already been cracked? And what if the key to unlocking it wasn't written in scripture or hidden in math, but humming inside a freezing machine no bigger than a room? Quantum computers have just taken a leap so big, experts warn it could mean the end of secrecy itself. Some call it the Omega Code, the ultimate code. And tonight, we're asking, has it already been solved? In 2025, Google's Willow chip crossed a critical threshold. IBM built super fridges that can house a million qubits, and new research slashed the resources needed to break the world's most secure systems by 20 times. The Omega Code is shorthand for the final code. Whether it's prophecy, mathematics, or the backbone of digital security that protects everything from your bank accounts to nuclear launch codes. The NSA, NIST, and intelligence agencies worldwide are racing against time. They've already admitted we have less than a decade left. By the end of this video, you'll know what the Omega Code really means, why governments are scrambling behind the scenes, and how you can see the early warning signs for yourself before everyone else does. What's at stake isn't just privacy. It's every encrypted secret transmitted since the dawn of the digital age. The Omega Moment? The Omega Code represents the final barrier, the last line of defense between humanity and the end of secrecy as we know it. In mythology, Omega is the final letter. In mathematics, it's the edge of computability. In cryptography, it's the master key that unlocks everything. The shockwaves are already here. In 2025, Google's Willow chip did something once thought impossible. As they added more qubits, the error rate actually went down, crossing a threshold that quantum physicists have been chasing for decades. IBM didn't just talk about quantum roadmaps. They built GoldenEye, a super fridge capable of housing a million qubits, and demonstrated logical operations that resist the quantum noise that plagued earlier systems. But here's the bombshell. Researchers have slashed the resources needed to break RSA 2048, the backbone of internet security, by 20 times in just a few years. What once required 20 million qubits can now be done with less than a million. And that number keeps dropping every time a new paper is published. Think about that for a second. Governments aren't debating if this happens. They've already marked a date on the calendar. The NSA's CNSA 2.0 roadmap quietly sets 2035 as the absolute deadline for post-quantum readiness. That's why researchers call it the Omega Code, the end game for the digital locks we've trusted for decades. Major institutions aren't waiting. NIST finalized their post-quantum standards in August 2024. The Department of Defense is already requiring quantum-resistant encryption for systems that will still be in use after 2030. And the terrifying part? The signs of a breakthrough will be visible to anyone who knows where to look. We'll show you how to spot them in just a moment. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, hit subscribe, because this story is moving faster than anyone expected. We're not just talking about your future emails being at risk. We're facing what experts call the archival doomsday. Intelligence agencies worldwide have been harvesting encrypted data for decades, storing it, waiting, the NSA's massive Utah data center wasn't built for nothing. When, not if, quantum computers crack today's encryption, every secret ever transmitted becomes an open book. Cold War diplomatic cables, nuclear command codes, financial transactions from the 90s, your medical records from the 80s, all of it suddenly transparent. The intelligence community has a name for this strategy. Harvest now, decrypt later. And they've been warning about it since at least 2022. Imagine everything you've ever trusted to a password, from your bank statements to your most intimate conversations, suddenly laid bare. The digital equivalent of someone finding your diary. But it's not just yours, it's everyone's. But the Omega Code has another side, one that might resurrect lost knowledge rather than expose secrets. Quantum pattern recognition could finally decode texts that have remained mysteries for millennia. The charred scrolls of Herculaneum buried by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The remaining undeciphered Dead Sea Scrolls. The same technology that threatens to end privacy could also end historical ignorance. 
And this is where it gets almost biblical. The word omega means the end, whether it's the end of secrets, the end of lost history, or even the end of nuclear deterrence and warfare, the Omega Code is no longer science fiction. It's a race against the clock. SISA, NSA, and NIST aren't just issuing vague warnings. They're publishing emergency roadmaps with specific timelines. The UK's National Cybersecurity Center has aligned their guidance to match. This is global. But if the Omega Code really was cracked, how would you know before anyone told you? The answer is hiding in plain sight, and I'm about to show you where to look. Tell me in the comments if you've ever worried about your data being compromised, because what's coming next might change how you think about digital security forever. If the Omega Code has been cracked, you won't need CNN to tell you. The digital world will show unmistakable signs, like tremors before an earthquake. First, watch for certificate chaos. The internet runs on digital certificates that verify websites are legitimate. These are tracked in public certificate transparency logs anyone can monitor. If you suddenly see mass revocations or emergency reissues across major institutions, banks, governments, tech giants, that's not routine maintenance. That's panic. Second, keep your eyes on the Bitcoin blockchain. Millions of Bitcoins sit in wallets whose public keys have been exposed. These coins are theoretically vulnerable to quantum attacks. If these dormant wallets suddenly drain overnight, that's your smoking gun. Third, look for code signing failures. All legitimate software updates are cryptographically signed. If suddenly your devices start flagging updates from Microsoft or Apple as unverified or potentially harmful, the signatures may have been compromised. Fourth, track the physical footprint. Quantum computers require massive cooling systems. Satellite imagery analysts watch for sudden spikes in water usage or power consumption at facilities like the NSA's Utah Data Center. Local reporting often catches these anomalies first. Here's the wild part. You don't need top secret clearance. Anyone can monitor these signals. Certificate logs are public. Bitcoin transactions are public. If you see those old wallets suddenly draining, that's not just hackers. That's the Omega moment. NIST the standards body responsible for American encryption, one didn't wait for crisis. In August 2024, they finalized the first post-quantum... Houston, we have a problem. I don't think this is Florida. Luckily, I didn't need NASA. I needed a legal army. It turns out there's an injury firm called Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, with over 1,000 attorneys and more than 100 offices nationwide. I tried calling one of those local lawyers with cheesy jingles. I was on hold longer than a Mars launch delay. Meanwhile, Morgan & Morgan helped a client in Florida get $12 million after the insurance company only offered $350,000. Morgan & Morgan only gets paid if they win your case. No upfront fees. You can file a claim right from your couch or from the jungle. Here's how easy it is. You can just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code on screen. Some encryption standards. FIPS 2032204 and 205. The OpenSSH project has already implemented hybrid key exchange using quantum-resistant algorithms alongside classical ones. Check your SS client. The future is already being deployed. And it's not just about what collapses. Quantum computing could also unlock entirely new knowledge, things we thought were lost forever. The same mathematical power that threatens our secrets might finally decode humanity's oldest mysteries. What if the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Voynich Manuscript, or ancient languages no modern human has ever spoken could suddenly be understood? What would that revelation be worth? To understand what's at stake, we need to unpack what Omega Code actually means. The term has three distinct faces, each with its own implications for our future. First, there's the Prophecy Code. Many viewers might remember the 1999 film, The Omega Code, where computers decoded hidden messages in scripture. The movie tapped into a popular myth that Bible texts contained encrypted prophecies waiting to be unlocked by modern technology. 
This concept of finding patterns in ancient texts isn't new. Jewish mystics have practiced gematria, assigning numerical values to letters, for centuries. Modern computers simply accelerated the process. But here's the crucial insight. When you have enough computing power, you can find patterns in almost anything. Researchers at Australian National University proved this by finding equally prophetic patterns in random text. Quantum computers wouldn't validate these Bible codes. They'd just generate more false patterns faster. The danger isn't prophecy, it's false certainty. The second face is Chaitin's Omega, a mathematical concept far more profound than movie fiction. Gregory Chaitin discovered a number so powerful it's actually uncomputable. Omega represents the probability that a random computer program will eventually stop running instead of continuing forever. If you could calculate Omega to enough decimal places, you'd solve computer science's famous halting problem and essentially have a master key to all mathematics. Imagine a single number that answers every yes, no question in mathematics. That's Omega. Even quantum computers can't compute the computable though. They're faster, not magical. But Omega perfectly symbolizes the boundary between what can and cannot be known, the ultimate code. The third face, and the one governments are truly worried about, is the cryptographic Omega, the breaking of public key cryptography that secures our digital world. RSA and elliptic curve cryptography protect everything from your banking app to military communications. They work because certain math problems are too hard for classical computers to solve quickly. But quantum computers can solve these problems exponentially faster using Shor's algorithm, turning years of computation into minutes. The race is accelerating. In 2019, breaking RSA 2048 would have required around 20 million physical qubits. Today's estimates suggest less than a million qubits could do it in under a week. Meanwhile, NIST finalized their post-quantum cryptography standards in August 2024. The NSA's CNSA 2.0 plan demands quantum-resistant systems by 2035. This isn't speculation. It's documented in public government roadmaps from the Department of Defense. The cryptographic omega isn't some distant threat. Google researchers are warning that the timeline is compressing. IBM is building quantum facilities that could reach the scale needed sooner than expected. Which of these three Omega codes should you fear most? The answer might surprise you when we return after this short break. So, what happens when, not if, we reach the tipping point? The cascading effects will touch every sector of society, and governments have already mapped out the fallout. For national security, the countdown is real. The NSA's CNSA 2.0 roadmap mandates quantum-resistant encryption across all national security systems by 2035. The Department of Defense is already retrofitting equipment and phasing out vulnerable protocols. Military planners aren't debating theories. They're executing contingency plans with concrete deadlines. The financial sector faces perhaps the greatest risk. Banking transactions, stock market data, and merger documents have been harvested for decades. When quantum decryption arrives, the history of global finance becomes an open book. Imagine hostile nations suddenly able to trace every secret financial transaction from the last 30 years. The intelligence value is incalculable. Healthcare systems store your most sensitive data for decades, and much of it sits behind encryption that won't withstand quantum attacks. Medical records from the 1990s, genetic data, prescription histories, all potentially exposed in an instant. Industrial systems and energy grids present a unique challenge. Power plants, factories, and critical infrastructure use control systems with 15 to 30 year life cycles. Many can't be quickly updated. Experts warn that operators will need to deploy gateway wrappers, additional layers of protection in front of legacy equipment that can't be replaced before the quantum deadline. But the first victims might be cryptocurrency holders. Bitcoin wallets with exposed public keys, including dormant wallets holding billions in value, could be drained overnight when quantum computing reaches critical capability. So, what do you think happens in the first 24 hours after Q-Day, the day quantum computers cross the line? Markets freeze, trust evaporates, or maybe the public won't even know until much later. 
Drop your thoughts in the comments before we reveal how experts believe it would play out. Because make no mistake, there will be winners and losers, those who prepared and those who didn't. The quantum divide might create the greatest wealth transfer since the internet itself. The Omega Code has always meant the end. For religious scholars, it was the end times. For mathematicians like Chaitin, it was the edge of knowability. For governments and corporations, it's the end of the cryptographic age we've lived in since the 1970s. What makes this story so compelling isn't fiction. It's the documented reality. NIST published final post-quantum standards in August 2024. The NSA has set a 2035 deadline for quantum resistance. Google researchers have slashed the resources needed to break RSA by 20 times. Certificate transparency logs are already tracking the early migration to quantum-resistant algorithms. Open source projects like OpenSSH have implemented hybrid approaches combining classical and quantum-resistant methods. The signs are everywhere if you know how to read them. Has the Omega Code been solved yet? No one outside the classified world knows for certain. But intelligence agencies wouldn't be spending billions on quantum-resistant encryption if they thought they had decades left. The most sophisticated harvesting operations, Store Now, Decrypt Later campaigns, are already underway, targeting data that will still be valuable in five or ten years. This isn't the end of the world, it's the end of secrecy as we know it. A transformation as profound as the internet itself, but one that happens largely behind the scenes until the day it suddenly doesn't. When that day comes, the warning signs will appear in certificate transparency logs, Bitcoin wallets, and emergency CISA directives before CNN breaks the news. If you want to stay ahead of the Omega Countdown, hit subscribe, give this video a like, and join the conversation below. The final code may be closer to being cracked than anyone is willing to admit. The question isn't if the Omega Code will be solved, but whether you'll see it coming before everyone else does.